Another fun-filled video with Miles from Light Harvest Solar. If you cannot figure out what Light Harvest Solar is by just the name, then I will tell you what it is. They are a full service solar company that you can buy solar components off of, solar panels off of, but not just any solar panels or any solar needs. Commercial grade solar panels. Yeah, these are the big ones that go on houses. Big ones that go on houses. That's actually not what this video is about today. This video is about this big old mammoth. Do you want to take my phone off? No, go ahead and leave its charge. All right, it's charged. I need to charge it. It's charging my phone right now. And it's about this big guy right here. Right here. Hi, this thing right here is actually charging and running this entire room that we are in right now, which is crazy to me. Yeah. If you guys are new to the channel, consider subscribing. What I do here is mostly van life related stuff or tiny living situation things, van life related things, hopefully some container homes, which oddly enough we're standing in right now. It's a container ship, it right? Is a, it is a container. A this one's a 20 foot Connex shipping container. Connex shipping container, uh -huh. it's pretty cool. I also do a lot of traveling and adventure, so I do a lot of travel adventure vlogs. I have a Jeep Gladiator that I have built out. I've built out two vans. This guy has helped me out quite a bit. Oh, everything in the Jeep is in is from you. Everything is, yeah. Every uh, power wise. What's up, dude? What's up? How are you, man? I'm great. Things huge. are good for you. Huge. Yeah. Huge stuff. I am in Portland randomly, and I you are in Portland randomly. That's right. And I was like, dude, let's get you on camera again. If you haven't seen Miles before, I've had you on a, like three or four times, whatever yeah. it's been. We talked a lot about solar panels. We talked a lot about other stuff. One of your kits that you build. Sure. And now you have this lovely piece of machinery. Yeah. Yeah. And you have a lot of things plugged into it. Can you break it down for what is it first off? Um, basically it's a plug and play, um, all in one, uh, solar power unit. And the main components are that in there are your solar charge controller, your lithium batteries okay. and a 2000 watt inverter. This takes the place of all the rest of the components that we have in van life been building forever. Um, and we've been crimping wires and running wires and bus bars, separate batteries, separate charge controllers. Um, separate inverters and uh, and then building you know real nice power systems with them. This does it all for you and it gives you a few other advantages. The, the main advantage of is that the lots less expensive for what you get. Funny you, you bring up lot less expensive. You also just mentioned that you you have power kits. You build power kits. I do. So that's a two battery power kit. A little less than a two battery well, okay. power kit, but uh, essentially, yeah. Essentially. So what does a two battery power kit typically cost for someone to special order? Um, you know, you give me a the, range. Yeah, the kits that we build are probably between, you know, $3,500 and $4,500, depending on the options they have. Is that with labor included? No. That's just parts. That's just parts. Mm -hmm. And then labor is typically double that, if I'm not correct. If you have someone else do it for you. Yes. Uh, so you're looking at anywhere between 8 to 12, give or take? Total, all in? And if you have someone else do it for you. If you have somebody else do <laughs> yeah. it. If you do the equivalent size of things, yeah, you're probably looking at about four, four and a half or something. Four and a half. What does that now cost? Two thousand dollars. That right, that unit right there is two grand. Yeah, yeah, uh huh. And that is an all-in-one unit. All-in-one unit. I can run a van off of that. You can run a van off of that. It's on the kind of the low end of uh, of of what is um, appropriate for the van spectrum. Once you get into the more something with a lot more batteries, you lose the portability. This is on the upper end of what is portable. So you can you know pick it up, take it over to your camp table, you cook for instance. That's you take it on trips. I've seen you take oh. it on trips. Yeah, you you go on camping trips with uh, with your family, mm -hmm. okay. and you literally do take like you just said. You take it out, you put it on a thing. You mm -hmm. have cooked. Have you used an induction on this? Uh, we don't. I don't have an induction, but I use a skillet. Electric. You look. I, I use a, all electric. All I've electric. Got a bunch of different electric ones. I just don't happen, including a very handy thirteen dollar Walmart. You know, like, <laughs> it's not an induction, but it's got a uh, element. Okay. You know, uh, we were gonna get an induction, and they didn't have it, so we used that, and it rock and roll. If I wanted to, like, like uh, those waffle makers, I could no use problem. one of the blender. No problem. Uh, I mean, really, the induction is the highest amount of wattage that you're going to use. Well, this will go up to 2,000, and those are about 15 to 18. Well, okay. Well, let's say, let's say 1,000 to 18, so okay. just about any induction, it'll have no problem with it. Uh, like a heating element. Those are pretty high. Uh, well, yeah, for a stove, yeah, you can. I think we've got this heater plugged in right now, so uh, it's a... 
60 watts you can see right there, which is running our computers and our lights and it's whatever's in seat. And then you just kick that on. Let's see, there we go. So look, that's on high now. That's running? Oh yeah. And you just pumped it up to 14, 14 15, yeah. 1496. Now it's gonna drain the battery fairly quickly. We got about an hour, hour and a half of run time on that, um, <laughs> on that How much on juice that is, heater. yeah. Mm -hmm. We're in the end of April right now. It's actually really nice outside. We don't need that on. You were just doing that for demonstration. Doing it for demonstration, but in the mornings when it's nippy, we do. And I have one of these at my home. Um, and one of the reasons why this is such a good one is because it's got a really big solar charge controller. Okay. So I've got 700 watts of solar running on it, two big panels. It's full all the time. Uh, and it has a really big, powerful MPPT solar charge controller that will go up to 150 volts and it will take any panel. I mean, you've been in the business for how long? Can you? I work nine years now, off grid only. Off grid stuff only. So I it, just wanted to make sure has that been you. running off grid for nine years. The, what we're standing in, and I'll back way up here. You know, it is a literally a container. It's the same one as this one right here, but it's like a full on container, right? That's right. Oh, well, without hitting my Jeep. And those panels right here are the ones that are running the sun catcher. Word on the street is you might be relocating. Can you I say? You might be relocating over. To, yeah, we're growing very fast, and this isn't going <laughs> to contain us. We're already overflowing. We've got one, two, three, four four computers in here and four people and then we've got another shop down yeah you have an assembly shop there. you have a bunch of other stuff going mm -hmm. on what else can you tell me about this because this thing is really fascinating to me you have you said you have uh these two panels right here running this that's right yeah. okay basically the biggest things with these solar generators you want to look at is the battery size solar uh, charge controller size and the inverter size let's just start with a solar charge controller because of course i'm a solar company yeah 700 watts e easy um, and it'll run any of the big house panels. In fact, that's all we do uh, that are higher voltage and higher power and everything like that. And it'll recharge that real, real, real quick. Um, now, solar charge controller, that's not what this is right yeah, here. Yeah, this is a Victron solar charge controller. And this is a real cheapie right here. Okay. That, you know, so what are those sizes compared to what's in here? This is going to be, I think the max on this is like 370 watts compared to 700. Okay. And this is um, a 20 amp, so or 30 amp, or something like that, and it's going to be in the same range as this. You okay. Know, three, 350, 400 watts. So, so these numbers, so. these numbers actually do mean something. They're not just yeah, randomly there. Yeah, 100 volts, 30 amps. 100, 100 volts, 30 amps. Uh -huh, and then this would be more like a 60 amp or a 70 amp. So it's about double the size of the Victron one. Double the capacity. Double the capacity. Okay. Absolutely. I'm trying to make this in layman's terms for everybody out there because I'm I'm a I'm I'm a beginner sure, as myself, you know. So. You can uh, put twice as much solar on uh, on on this essentially as compared that. to that, mm -hmm. and the one to three hundred. And that and then it's, uh, Victron makes other sizes. You carry Lots them, of other sizes. right? Sure, I I ones. think yeah, they make bigger ones. Mm -hmm. Sure, I think that's the one I have in my Jeep. It is. Uh, <laughs> you do know that you get you've got it for me. Yeah. And then the next thing in there was what the inverter. Inverter, yeah, uh, had two thousand watt inverter, which is um, uh, you know right in the sweet spot. We almost never go below two thousand. We almost never go above three thousand. Um, and 2000 is going to run one of anything that you have plus a little bit of uh, other stuff So in other words when we're out camping what we need the most absolutely is hot water and cooking okay. We do all our hot water and cooking electrically. There's a ton of there's skillets induction cook stoves burners Yeah, pots pans whatever you got. There's a lot of ways to cook. I personally like a skillet because it's big Have you hooked a Brava up to this thing? No, I haven't I know Would we, you? Uh, we should yeah oh I absolutely we should it should run it right it should I mean the Brava has the Brava is a little the tricky the Brava is a little us some grief. <laughs> but, but with that being said I would love to see the Brava give something else grief and not this for the beginners out there that don't understand power uh, that's an inverter right there uh, that's a 500 watt inverter however the inverter is there to I guess invert uh, DC power to AC power, whatever it is, right? Like anything you plug into a wall, anything you plug into a wall would technically be AC power. Boom, right there. And that is runs into this guy. And then you have, you're telling me you have a 2001 inverter, but it looks like you have a lot of things plugged in here, my I man. I do, I've got, um, well, so, I'm running this fridge, this computer, this com printer, computer, 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 all the computers, that TV. Here's our laminator that we run. You're running this all at once. Well, well no, the refrigerator the and the computers. On, all the computers and everything are on. 
and um, and this when we need it. Uh, and that's what's drawing your power. And then all of power. these lights, yeah. And you can see on the screen, it's going to tell you this is our solar input. You can get some more details there. This is our um, DC output right there. You can get some details. This is our. That's a um, touch screen. Yeah, it's a touch screen. Oh wow. This is our uh, AC in. We're actually charging. Um, from from this this emu this is how we set up our alternator chargers is uh, with an inverter and then it runs into this box and into here so you can simultaneous simultaneously run solar and AC um, input which gives you a maximum of like 1200 watts of solar in, uh, I'm sorry of uh, energy input which will fill it really fast so for um, people that didn't understand what he just said by the way. Uh, alternator charger charges off of like a car battery, right? That's uh, right. Your when you're driving down while the you're road driving. It charges. What he is explaining is this is essentially the car battery. This is emulating a car battery. That is emulating. Thank you. That is emulating a car battery, and that's so he's dual charging it via solar and via alternator. That's right. Okay. I just wanted to make sure that we were clear on that and people understood. Absolutely. Okay. Because you talk although, fast, my uh, dude. <laughs> the alternator, that what, what's emulating the alternator on this one is solar. So these are going into this, it goes through, and then it charges into this. It's a little bit different, but that's the same concept. Exact same concept. Charge okay. it from the alternator. So that's so interesting Which that you really have. One of the things that differentiates this is it's got, it's got, two, um, it's got two inputs so that you can do both at the same time. You've also got, this is your DC output, right? 25 amps, so you can see right here, there's a couple ways. Whoa, there's, you just turn the lights off, dude. Yeah, there goes the lights, right? And that's not how we do it. We actually do it like this. DC on. You just turn them all off. Right? Yeah. There's our lights. Wow. So we have a 25 amp output DC there, and that will run all your lights in your van in our case, or uh, an emergency backup for a house or whatever you got. We've got two low power DC, those are three amps each, so run like a strip light or something. Okay. And then a cigarette lighter. Those so are this isn't the cigarette lighter port? No, no, see how it's different? It's a different port. I guess we're gonna have to get the lights off for a second. Oh yeah, I see. Right, nice sturdy metal. And is that locked? Mm-hmm. Oh, oh yeah. does look. this cord come with it? Yeah. Uh, no, this one doesn't come with it, uh, but we, we have them. Okay. Uh, the input does from the solar. What comes in the box? Uh, it's going to be this uh, unit. It's going to be this char uh, this charger right here. Um, it's going to be, let's see what else of goodies we have. This, which is your solar MC4 panel. MC4 cables, mm -hmm. yeah. Solar in, and then it comes with uh, this right here, which is a cigarette lighter out. So like that, right? So you just plug right in there, and then you can get out your output there. And then we have uh, this, which has actually come in handy, real the handy. Seas? Yeah, yeah. U it, it, USB that's coming super handy for yeah. me. Uh, four USBs and then six 120 volt uh, outlets. Biggest question I got for you: Can I link two of them together to double the power? Um, you can't link them together, but you can most certainly have two of them, which ends up being cheaper than. You, you get a lot more for your money and then you charge one and, you, and then you can charge one from, from the other okay so you can't and i do it a lot too because i've got smaller power systems so okay. i'll take two or three with me move the power around a lot especially when i'm generating more power than um, i'm using this isn't the only unit you sell like this is your this is your bread and butter this is what this you is love the, the most mm -hmm. but you do sell other power Some units smaller ones that are great yeah. too yeah. yeah you sell other portable power stations you also sell obviously kits mm -hmm. you can sell victron components you can sure. sell other components like the kotec Absolutely. you can sell pretty much anything off-grid lithium related batteries, lithium batteries lithium you batteries. Get a whole bunch of lions or lions and we, we're going to be having our own brand of what I think is the best battery coming out. You're building your own battery. They're coming out. What, oh, the uh, Light Harvest Solar brand. You know, two months before I see them, and it's going to be a 200 amp hour. We're going to start off with a 200 amp hour battery, 150 amp discharge rate, 200 amp max. Okay. Peak, right. Are you building your own BMS? I'm not building my own BMS, but it, but there, there is a BMS. It, There's an internal BMS. BMS. Oh yeah. Okay. Low low temperature disconnect. All of it. Yeah. Low temp, high temp. What's your and price point on, 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 do you know a price point uh, on your 200 amp hour? I don't know the 200, I don't know the price point, but I can probably say a high side estimate um, is probably going to be, you know, 1800 bucks or something like that. That's not bad for 200 yeah. amp hours. Yeah, eight, eight, 18, maybe 19, maybe seven. We'll have to see what they, what, what in the end, but it's and got a Bluetooth in it. I'm excited to see that. You didn't even tell me about it. It was literally just now. 
Yeah, yeah you didn't tell, literally. I why didn't you tell me about this? Sorry about I'm that, a little, sir. little mad. Little, little, I'm a little, little upset. Little hurt, little I'm a little, bit. I'm a little hurt. If you want anything from Miles, I've already flashed this, but please, lightharvestsolar.com. That's right. Also, give him a follow. He has no followers on Instagram. Shut up. But you, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, can we at least get you to a thousand? I do. I'm over a thousand. Are you over a thousand finally? Yeah. Okay, we need to, we need 11. to. Two kilowatt hour lithium iron phosphate battery, two thousand watt inverter, and seven hundred watt charge controller, and. Um, with all of those, you got a, a, a very robust, high-performing uh, system. And like I said, it's uh, it's still portable. Um, they're not like super light. Yeah, what's the weight? Uh, about 60 pounds. Okay. So you can pick it up and move it out to your table or cook or whatever you got. And I personally use one for my a backup for my house. Wow. And it'll with the amount of solar it'll handle, it'll you know do what I need to. You know, that's a, I, before we end the video, that's actually a really good point. You know, with with you know natural disasters that happen, yeah, uh, you know, naturally, and we can't control them. Right. This is an amazing piece of machinery that you can power your house. And oh, sometimes, yeah. you know, I mean, we had we had some terrible ice storms down in Texas. Sure. We had the flooding in New York years ago. We fires had in fires California. in California. Uh, and when that happens, we lose power. And this is a great alternative. Yeah, you know, oh, yeah. way to make sure that you guys are okay in your house. It's a big deal, yeah. And and where these things are really going to shine is in the third world where there's no electricity anywhere. Because basically, I could take this and essentially build a house off of it. You know, it would be slow going. Mm -hmm. This would run a two-man work crew pretty effectively. You're really big on helping out third world countries. I know you, like, you don't ever post about it. You never really advertise about it. But you do a lot for... You know other countries that are not you know that are, that, that don't have power it's, well it's, i mean i wouldn't go quite that far but i've got systems all over the world i've got systems with natives up in alaska that have never had power wow. in africa um all you know all kinds of uh, hate you're doing you're doing everything that you possibly can right now i know that you are so passionate that you will be doing stuff in the future yeah especially if we grow the way we grow and we have the finances behind it to be able to uh, do that you know thank you and again guys check them out uh, you want one of these commercial grade panels? I just want to show you guys this real quick. Yeah. This thing is a 400 watt solar panel. Yeah, this is the this is my absolutely all time favorite panel. It's a Solaria 400 watt. There's the size of the it right there. The size is perfect and for, I guess van, the price. for vans. Yeah. Like perfect for vans. Yeah. Short squat, kind of like top of the line to budget. All of them are commercial grade. Well, all of them are high I quality. did a video with Miles way back in the day about solar panels. Go check that out and look at it. But. This guy's a pro. He knows what he's doing. Probably next time I see you guys will see miles on my channels when we're actually out camping and enjoying life. Yeah, we need to. We need to. We need to do that. Into, Can you bring all your electric toys? I'm gonna. I am. My business model is going to quickly shift to electric toys. All right, dude. Solar powered electric toys, electric vehicles, the whole nine yards. We're gonna get into it. All right, let's do it. it. All right, man. Well, thank you so much, Miles. Okay. Later. Bye.